What's up guys, this is the Rifleman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my, Amp of my Napoleon Total War. Let's play as Great Britain. So to run off happened last time, we had a sally from the forces of Reims to push out and hit Sir John Moore. And we have managed to repel them back into their city. I think we are going to attack them and we will draw in both of these reinforcement forces, which should not be any trouble. Wellesley is just over the border, ready to, uh, to replenish. One more turn, well, a couple more turns and they'll be ready to rock and roll. Um, our scouts seem to be doing an admirable job at keeping an eye on what's going on. Our spies are also maintaining that good picture, good situational awareness picture. But I think this is our next move for this turn at least. So let's pick Sir John Moore, attack. Oh, that's not even... I thought it was going to pull in the reinforcements. Okay, well I'm going to auto that then because that's not going to really be a, a great battle. Peacefully occupy. And we are going to replenish. And then our agent will then move on to Amsterdam. And my agent here is going to go on. He's going down to Kessel. Infiltrate. Okay, well, I thought that would be a much... Okay, don't need to get caught in there. Or do I? So one garrison foot artillery unit is attempting to move Bob Crawford just to go hit that cavalry unit. Just to... Ah, oh, yes, yeah, so this is ours now. So we can actually move up to here and continue replenishing. Perfect, even closer to our prey. So it'll be interesting to see what direction those chaps go. Oh, and I also need to remember to... Ah, I need to upgrade this university. And Copenhagen can handle it. So that'll be one for next turn, I think. Yep, region captured. Cool. Bit of an anticlimax compared to what I planned. So maybe these chaps are going to fall back. The Strasbourg army's falling, falling back. Ooh. Yeah, they're going to move in. They're going to go garrison Brussels. That would be the smart move. Hmm. So the question is, where is the Reims army going to be deployed? And the question is, if I make, if I create a nation, um, are they now no longer just allies? Are they protectorates? Because I, I need to, I might need to do, do a bit of research on how that happens. Actually, let's bring up Napoleon. Napoleon. Total War. Create. Because the problem is, is I don't want to create... A f I don't want to create a nation who will then declare war on me when I declare war on the wider the wider nations, if there that makes sense. unused land suitable for farming in this region. If you liberate a region, the auto magically becomes your protectorate. Cool. Let's just push Wellesley up to the bridge. I'm ready to put a direct threat onto Strasbourg. Let's prepare this port, and then let's bring this fifth rate up into this force at Antwerp. And this is part of the reason why I need to be careful, because they have many, many, many small frigate armies. Okay, let's upgrade the school. It's taking nine turns to get there. One more turn, and this army will be ready to join the fray. I'm not sure where. Let's just do a bit of an infrastructure check. Reams is good due for an upgrade. Cool. Everyone that can be upgraded is being upgraded. Let's upgrade you to a trading company. A lot of money being spent in Paris. 
Okay, so if I took this army, move them out, you'd hate me, but if I move my cavalry in, not my cavalry, my light, my foot infantry in, that won't cover it. General Baber, William de Dornberg. Good. Crew report, all my stuff in for England. So let's, if I take you guys out, put my invincibles in and exempt you from tax for a turn. Good. So you can go on. Six pounder, twelve pounder, twelve pounder, a couple of rubbish units. So I'm going to send you. Oh, does this count as mine as well? I hope it does. Let's move you up to here. So it seems that like the Prussians have recalled their army here in Luzerne. So I'm probably going to want to take that. Austria has Oldberg. So this position up here is very precarious when the war does come. I can't build forts either, it would appear. So this is gonna be a bit of a redoubt. So because if I do if I do declare war on all these nations, chances are Mecklenburg Stalitz will also yeah, they will also join them, and then all of these stacks will come heading my way. And then I'll lose my ability to research at this, at this university unless I rapidly push. Well, if I've, if I've liberated Brussels and Amsterdam, I have two strong allies, I'll be on the border. Then I'll be able to jump on Oldberg, jump on Cleves, push over Hanover, and start to relieve the stress fairly quickly. In an ideal world, they've got effectively got a front line that looks sort of like this ideally let's team Drydock in Gibraltar let's recruit some third rate so shift those over to Nelson right now he has many a first and second oh, he's got lots of thirds as well now hmm. okay Pia Torino let's upgrade your school oh, your infrastructure that's still pretty good cool what about my ministers how are they doing still terrible at pretty much everything there's no discernible difference between these two guys and my the head is rubbish the treasuries at least learn something as is my justice he's got some useful useful um people useful stats so i might kick out you nope roast and hancock still hasn't helped so let's kick in turn and my spies are continuing to spy See, if the French moved south to recapture... If the French moved south to try to recapture Switzerland, that would be perfect. Oh, they are selling out to meet me. Well, let's find that. The present so my plan with Milan was to maintain siege, get one turn of attrition on them, and then assault them. But they seem to have preceded my plans. So that we can continue his march eastwards. Oh, we deploy first. Okay, well this is quite a quite a good spot for some of my guns. Gives me a bit of protection from charging cover from the left. So 
that's giving me a bit nice big block of fusiliers in the center I probably want to keep these guys limbered up and I'll advance them to make them into a bit of a line like this it's probably had a fairly strong contingent in securing this tree line and this hill and these two chaps with some light foot to protect this gully, I think, in one way or another. I'll figure that out during the battle. Cavalry on the left. Can they hide in those trees? Tree? Oh, so just sit there. Can you hide there? Oh, so just sit here ready. Alexander takes his place tree. Okay, so let's deploy you there. Oh, that's the edge of the back. figure out what we're going to do here. Let's just put my light foot in the trees in skirmish order. Let's put on a block of solid line infantry. Let's get these guys in the skirmish order and then have them set up on the flank. Is that cavalry? Chasseurs à cheval. Set up my cavalry to join them because I'd like my light infantry to get a volley off against the cavalry. Militia, militia, armed citizenry. Speed up time again. Look at this damn balloon. It's not even in it. If I could shoot that down, I'd love that. It's a pretty nice balloon. God, this would be a tricky town to attack, wouldn't it? All these levels. Although, to be honest, we would be attacking from the high point and firing down. It wouldn't be so bad. So let's keep our triple speeding up. Because ultimately, I don't really, I don't really see the point of moving. Because a, they're going to come right at me, and b, we're going to shred them. But at the same time, if it gets a bit dull, then I will move up. Like if they can't seem to work out what the strategy is going to be. See, they're advancing on the right, which is nice, because that's right where we want them to be. garrison units so you guys hit this militia unit because the cavalry has gone into the town for some reason or back here to support their guns now they're 12 pounders so they will outrange me somewhat Speed this up so that the so that the armies actually get a bit more up in each other's faces. Let's make the, these guys fire loosely into the centre of town because the trouble is these this battery is in, in danger of destroying this one here if it's not too careful. To be honest, same with you. My infantry is more than enough to deal with these guys. They're militia garrisons. They've got an uh, attack column coming in. Swiss line infantry and a French garrison unit. Let's speed up and watch a bit of, 
bit of gunplay. My left is getting quite heavily advanced on. Is there anything I might want to quickly hop over to their artillery? And well, there they are. I'm going to advance straight into my line and then I'll spin these guys around to the left. Edit some of the targets they're going to hit. They are going to be engaged by my light infantry, though, and to be honest, I might start spinning them around sooner rather than later. Bring my cavalry up to protect them. Yep, so battle has been joined on this flank. Column's going to get mowed down. But I want to watch the, the light infantry get into combat, sniping from the trees. Ooh, they are just passing out of range. I get their attention. Out of range of canister shot. Yep. Yeah. Barrage time. Just on. pound the hell out of them. Too bad. I'm going to charge. They're also going to get shot by my light infantry, so right in the flank. Lost a lot of horses in that charge. So much cover on to hit the guns. Wait a minute. No, wrong unit. You go on to them. This unit of cavalry, artillery. Canister range. Yes. Barrage time. Potential for this unit to fall because it's fairly depleted. Just looked. I'm just looking to make them route this time. Not. Okay, the general's giving them morale bonuses, so let's get ready to bring Alexander up. Yeah, that's that unit that got absolutely annihilated by cavalry. Keep the round going, but I've shifted these guys into square. break against this unit. God, they're, they're firing so close to firing upwards. They may come back. No. Yeah, there they are. Square is holding. Let's 
this line up and she's made contact. Run into a little square of a view. Good mass route route in the centre from combined severe musketry. Hit the chasseurs are cheval of my cavalry. My guys are falling back. The cavalry have been defeated. Let's set these guys up on this hill to engage this infantry unit as it moves up. Stoically into the towards their death. This infantry has been quite devastatingly killed. Quite a bit of support because that first that first unit of fusiliers, first regiment of fresh gar French garrison. Pretty sure I've destroyed you before. Says a cheval. I'll send one unit down into the gully to support my cavalry. Yeah, total route. Who's that cavalry that's come back? So let's just spin these units around. Yes, they furiously reload their carbines. And the only thing remaining is this cavalry in the gully. So let's hold fire. See, it says they're winning slightly, but when my infantry show up, much any infantry, Swiss line infantry come to the mix. Come on, Alexander, run them down. Absolutely continue. Just play some triple speed loads and then we'll escape, but I don't care. It's nice to get some experience on my generals. Fine, it just makes them a bit handier in a crisis. Although my cavalry seems to be stuck. Go for the column of attack because they've got lots of men and they're very experienced. See, it looks like they can't get out of the city for some reason. Their pathfinding can't work it out. There we go. Stick to the main roads. There we go. Oh, they have escaped though. Shame. 
Many, many Frenchmen could have been slaughtered this day. But it was a decisive victory for Alexander Abercrombie, especially today. Good, very strong defeat. Let's see, capture Luzerne. Go on. Well, the Prussians are gathering on Castle. The Prussians are going to be an interesting one to defeat. They have many, many, many armies. And to be honest, I need to get over my habit of... No, don't, don't. Right. I thought they were going to go and attack Milan, which would be super duper frustrating. But you know, one thing that might be quite interesting to do, which I don't think they've attacked Milan, they might well have done. Oh, are naturally Spy in this region that okay, are let's get you over to development in these areas now would increase Infiltrate your Munich. trade income later. Got some mines. Cool. Let's just take my cavalry and... Yeah, it's going to be a... Then let's... Ooh. I'm going to occupy. Milan's quite a useful region. That and it's my... It's my front line in Italy. So I'm going to rebuild, yeah, build, build some fortifications, build a bit of a garrison. Let's see, it's the Papal States. Ooh, all of this is mine as well. We have a college. Fascinating. We have a college and a city that doesn't immediately want to kill us. So that's rather nice. In which case then, Florence. You can't really research anything, but let's may, we may as well set you on doing plateways. Sweet. Successful mission, Charles Hamilton Smith. Bordeaux is Court of Appeal. Supply Depot and Aquitaine. Clark's been upgraded. Steam pump nine mine that's been upgraded. What kind of yield is it getting? It's not telling me, but it's 400 per region wealth, which is good. Secret Society. Been built. Build a Masonic Lodge. Plus three happiness. Got to be a good thing. I'm absolutely going to want to build a military academy. Or oh, do I want to build an ordnance board? Nine pounders. Both eventually, but I've only got the funds for one. Another third rate. It's been a 32 gun frigate. So let's go do this. Let's be a bit cheeky. Straight gain a grasp of a shovel. Plus one command when sieging. Damn right. So notionally now, I my actions down here are, are, are almost ended. It's only really this fight down here on Corsica. Not a very wealthy nation. If I can liberate Corsica, I probably will. Oh no, I might still take it because it's not really a proper country in my mind. You can. I could go maintain. Go, go lay siege to Strasbourg. You. Oh, you're, you've got a bit more. De army's a bit more depleted in bits, so I'd like you to wait a little bit more. You're ready to rock and roll. So let's get one of these frigates to sail back. Let's take the Fensibles out. Let's take Henry Clinton's army. Embark them. All on one frigate. Let's disembark them in Calais. Let's give them an order to hit Brussels. And let's take the frigate, ship them back to Antwerp. Get this garrison back in their port. Perfect. The one thing that might be very funny to do is to hit Castle. 
because it can sweep oh, if we're in range we are in range oh no we can't actually oh we can't do that in this game steal things from under the noses of their of the of the people that are sieging it that's nice to know at least okay so let's take this garrison and put them over here in the woods Can I move you out now? What about that? Nope. Soon. So you are under siege, you are under siege. Okay, let's put you in. Let's try infiltrate Brandenburg. Okie dokie. But looking at the timer, I think this is the end of this part. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the assault on Strasbourg, one of the few French cities remaining. Do they have no city defences? It looks like they do. It looked like they did to me. But either way, we will engage them. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next part.